All right, we're going to work through another Turing machine problem. And uh, let's look at this one. It's actually a fairly short example because it halts almost right away. So here's our starting state. And our only state transition option is if we see a closing parentheses, we can replace it with an X. And then we immediately go to the left. And actually, that's the one we're going to follow because here we do see a closing parentheses. So we're going to replace that with an X and then immediately go to the left. So let's see that happen. OK. Now we're paused at this state. What are our options here? So there's one path available to us here and another path here. But we don't see um, an open parentheses, so we can't follow this path. Instead, we follow this path because we see a blank spot. We're going to replace it with a blank spot and then halt. We're going to return no. So let's see that happen. OK, and that's the end of this example because uh, we're on a reject state right now, so it won't go any further. Okay, so I just backed things up a little bit and started a new example. So um, here you can see the tape is different. We have an open, open, open parentheses, and then a close, close, close parentheses. Okay, let's see what the Turing machine will do on this input. Okay, so what do we read first? We see an open parentheses, but this arrow only allows us to travel along it if we see a close parentheses. So what do we do if we can't follow the arrow? We just go to the right along the tape. So let's watch it do that. OK, again, we see only an open parentheses, but not a closed parentheses. So the default is just to go back and follow right along the tape. OK, so here, now we're paused on this state. We do see a right parentheses, or a closed parentheses. So now we can follow along this transition, which says replace it with an x, and then go immediately to the left. OK, and it just did that. OK, so now we're paused at this state. And what are the transitions that we see? So if we see an open parentheses like this, we can replace it with an x. OK, so that's what's going to happen. We're going to follow this state transition and then go immediately to the right. OK, good. Now we're back here where we started. So what will happen from here? Um, we don't see an x. So our default is just to follow this instruction that's on the inside of the circle. We go to the right. OK, here we do see a closed parenthesis, so we replace that with x, and then go to the left. OK, what do we do here? So we don't see anything with an x um, along the arrows. This one says if you have a left parenthesis. This one says if you have a blank. But we don't have an arrow for an x. So the default is just to go to the left again. OK, and then we'll go to the left again. OK, now we can follow this state transition. If you see a left parentheses, replace it with an x. OK, and it's going to uh, continually go to the right now until it sees um, the state transition available to it. OK, and there it is. And we're going to follow that, replace it with an x, and then immediately go to the left. OK, and we're going to continually go to the left until we see the state transition. And here it is. So this means when we follow this arrow, we go to the right immediately and replace that with an x. OK, what will happen now? We have only x's left, so we'll keep going to the right. And then eventually, we'll get this state transition. It says if you see a hash, you can replace it with a hash and then go to the left. OK, and there we follow that state transition. Now what will happen here? Um, do we see any opening parentheses? No. Do we see any x's um, along the arrows? No. Uh, we do see them on the tape, but we don't have any arrows that are labeled that way. We don't see any blank spots. So the default is to just uh, loop it back to the left. OK, and one more time. Now we see a blank spot. And this arrow says, if you see a blank, replace it with a blank and end on yes. OK, there it is. And then it halted on an accept state. OK, so what was that Turing machine designed to do? Well, basically, it was just checking to see whether every opening parentheses was balanced with a closed parentheses. And that's it. OK, that's the end of this example. Thank you for watching.